He is known for his early start in composing and his exceptional conducting skills. He is recognized for his major works, including two children's operas and a horn concerto. His name is Oliver Nussen. Oliver Nussen, the legendary composer and conductor, had music in his blood from a young age. At just six years old, he began composing, inspired by his father's work with the London Symphony Orchestra. His talent did not go unnoticed, and soon he received a commission for his first symphony after an ITV program about his father's orchestra. But it was at the age of 15 that Nussen truly made his mark. When the conductor fell ill, Nussen stepped in to conduct the premiere of his symphony at the Royal Festival Hall in London. This debut caught the attention of renowned conductor Daniel Barenboim, who invited Nussen to conduct the first two movements of his symphony in New York. Nussen's ability to absorb the influences of modernist composers like Britton and Berg, while showcasing his own unique flair for orchestration, was evident in his early works. Hashtag break hashtag. In the 1980s, Nussen created two children's operas that would become some of his most beloved works. Based on Maurice Sendak's iconic children's books, where the wild things are, and Higgledy Piggledy Pop, captivated audiences with their imaginative storytelling and enchanting music. The New York City Opera premiered, Where the Wild Things Are, in November 1986, and it was performed again in April 2011. Nussen's talent extended beyond composing, as he took on roles as the head of contemporary music activities at Tanglewood and the music director of the London Sinfonietta. He also served as the conductor laureate for the ensemble. Nussen's contributions to the world of music were recognized with a CBE in the 1994 birthday honors. Hashtag break hashtag. Throughout his career, Nussen continued to create remarkable compositions. One notable work was his horn concerto, written for Barry Tuckwell in 1994. This piece seamlessly blended the colorful sound world of early 20th century music with a contemporary approach to time and melody. Nussen's dedication to his craft led him to collaborate with various orchestras and ensembles, including the Hague's Het Residency Orchestra, the Albra Festival, and the Ohio Music Festival. In 2006, he composed Songs for Sue as a tribute to his late wife, and the music received its world premiere in Chicago. Nussen's legacy as a conductor was also evident in his recordings, which included works by renowned composers such as Stravinsky, Carter, and Takamitsu. Oliver Nussen, the renowned composer, had a rich and fulfilling personal life that greatly influenced his musical journey. He shared his life with Sue Nussen, a talented producer and director of music programs. Sue was known for her exceptional work on BBC Television and Channel 4, where she created the award-winning series, Leaving Home, a captivating exploration of 20th century music presented by Simon Rattle. Sadly, Sue passed away in 2003 due to a blood infection, leaving behind a lasting impact on the music industry. Hashtag continue hashtag. During their marriage, Oliver and Sue Nussen welcomed a daughter named Sonia Nussen, who later became a mezzo-soprano. Sonia followed in her parents' footsteps, pursuing a career in music and making her own mark in the industry. The Nussen family's love for music was evident, with each member contributing their unique talents and passions. Hashtag continue hashtag. Oliver Nussen found solace and inspiration in Snape, Suffolk, a place that held great significance in the world of music. It was the base of Benjamin Britten during one of his most creative periods, and the location of the esteemed Snape Maltings Concert Hall, which served as the home of the Albra Festival. Living in such a historic and artistic setting undoubtedly influenced Nussen's compositions and allowed him to thrive creatively. Hashtag continue hashtag. Sadly, Oliver Nussen's journey came to an end on July 8, 2018, at the age of 66. His contributions to the world of music, both as a composer and a mentor, will forever be remembered. Nussen's legacy lives on through the Sue Nussen Composers Fund, established to honor his late wife's memory and professional legacy. The fund commissions works from emerging composers to be performed by contemporary music ensembles worldwide, ensuring that their innovative voices continue to be heard. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.